Hello, members of the St. Michael and All Angels Parents class. It is my um, great pleasure to be with you today. I am Mary Lesman. I am Associate for Spiritual Growth here at St. Michael. And what I'm going to be discussing with you today is um, raising our children in ways that grow their generosity. And so I want to share with you a program that I did several years ago at another church we did this with parents of um, children, both primary age and youth aged, and it was called Share, Save, Spend. And it was a, I want to say eight week course that went through various aspects of our relationship with money. And it was a great thing because it was geared towards the parents. Um, and so it encouraged them to talk about their understanding of money and their priorities. Um, which is a great conversation for you to have as parents with each other. But more than that, it helped um, parents think about how they wanted to intentionally shape their children in these in these areas. And so Share, Safe, Spend, this eight-week course, went over various kind of things, kind of what our kids see with their friends and peer pressure and all of that, um, what they're seeing in the home, how they're seeing the priorities of their family and others that they know. Um, and so it was just a it's a great way to get familiar with it. But one of the aspects of Share, Save, Spend was that we um, gave our children three distinct containers. And in my case, I just went out. You could pay the Share, Save, Spend people for special little containers, but that wasn't really necessary. I went out and got little Rubbermaid kind of um, containers that were, you know, maybe a, a two cup container that had a screw top on top that was plastic. And I wrote on the top of, on, of one share and on the top of the next one save and the top of the other one spend and gave them to our boys. And so our two boys were both primary aged at this point and they received an allowance. And so what we started was that they would break up their allowance. Um, 20% would be share, 20% would be save, and 60% would be spend. And their spend money was free. They were free to spend whatever they wanted to spend their spend money on. So if they wanted to really hunker down and save for a long enough period of time, they could, and then they could spend it on something. And even if we didn't think it was a wise investment, we just let them do it because that was their money, right? And part of kids learning the value of these things is, sometimes making bad decisions and having to live with that. So, um, but what was so great is that with the save and the share and the save, what we talked about with the save is that we wanted that to be for a big long-term thing. So one of my boys decided he wanted to learn guitar. And so his save actually was a long-term project towards saving enough to be able to buy a guitar. And so that was part of save wasn't, hey, this is your retirement account. Save was there was a big meaningful project to them that they wanted to save towards and then use their savings. Um, but the share aspect, the 20% that they put in share each time was what happened is at the end of the year, we would have them bring their share containers down to us and we would talk and about different places that they could give their money. So we would talk about, yes, you can give it to the church or you can give it to um, a homeless shelter. We had one in, in, in the town that we were living in at the time and that was very high profile. And so the boys knew about that. We said, you can give it to a um, food bank. You can give it to, so we kind of investigate. We spent some time with our boys investigating different places that they could give their share money to. And then the boys got to decide individually um, where they wanted to give their share money. And that would change from year to year. So one year they might give it to one place and the next year they would think about it again, and research again, and then um, do that. And the other great thing was that what we decided to do is we decided that it would be best if the boys took their share money and donated it personally. So whenever they made their decision, we took them to the place, the agency or the or whatever, whatever it was, and walked in and let them know. And we let the boys do the talking and say that they were there to make a donation. And, you know, they would bring someone out to meet them and greet them and thank them. And so that interaction with the actual organization, instead of the extra step of distance between just 
having a financial gift to give and giving it to your parents to give or or dropping it in a box somewhere versus having that face-to-face -face encounter was very meaningful for the boys. And over the years, it really shaped them. And the discussions that we had about where we were going to share the money um, was really rich uh, to, to determine where our boys kind of had a heart for different causes that we could steer them towards or give them more information on. So I really recommend starting. You can start this at a very, very young age. You could start this with kindergartners um, and do these three visual containers where they know whatever money they get, 20% goes to share, 20% goes to save, and 60% goes to spend. And it, it, it became such an ingrained habit with my kids that even when they got birthday money or money from other, you know, um, odd things outside of them getting their allowance from us, that they would automatically break it up into 20%, 20%, 60%. It's a great way to start your children young on an understanding of that share portion that, um, that we tithe, that we give back out of our first fruits, a portion back to God's work in the world. And that work in the world can look very different. It doesn't all have to be going into the offering plate at church, um, but that that is as Christians that we believe that our first fruits, that 10% um, off the top goes to God, right? And this was a way to start young when the amounts were small with even 20% with more than that. And so it built that habit in my boys and they're still generous in this way today. And so I wanted to share with you a couple resources or a resource. This is the book that the Share, Save, Spend class was based on and it's called Prodigal Sons and Material Girls, How Not to Be Your Child's ATM. And this is by Nathan Duncan. And so the book is still out there. I don't know if there's a revised one. This is um, quite old from when I taught the class um, back in the, you know, 06, 05, 06. But um, I do know that they still have a website that's called Share, Save, Spend. I don't know if they offer the same kind of curriculum they did when I was teaching, but I would encourage you to investigate that. But this book is great. And I will just tell you that um, in the table of contents, you can check all the different um, topics, right? So I'm going to let you see some of those topics. But if you notice on the second page of the table of contents, there you're going to see the chapters that are about sharing, saving, and spending. And so you'll particularly get to see what I've been talking about today. So uh, I've enjoyed having this time with you. Let's close in prayer. Good and gracious God, you have gifted us with children. We ask that you help us to be um, stewards of their care um, such that they come to know you and love you and know your goodness in their life. Help us to um, know how to form them in ways where they trust in your goodness and your love and that we as their parents can actually be representatives of that goodness and love. Um, work to fashion in all of us as parents and as children generous hearts, hearts that uh, know at a deep level um, that all that we have comes from you and that we um, give back to you what you have given to us. We give back a small portion to your ongoing work in the world. All this we ask through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.